Hey everyone, it's Andy, and today I'm back with an in-depth review on one of the top web browsers out there, Brave. So Brave is one of the leading secure Chrome alternatives. So let's take a look at the browser and find out if it's right for you. Now I've already talked about Brave in another video where I ranked secure web browsers. And I'll link to that video in the description if you wanna learn more. But you know, spoiler, it, uh, it ranked better than Google Chrome. So let's get into it. First, why do we care about secure browsers at all? Well, a lot of mainstream browsers don't really hold up the privacy side of things. <coughs> Google. <coughs> Now, secure web browsers, uh, on the other hand, don't track your activity and they do their best to avoid vulnerabilities that might allow hackers to exploit loopholes. In other words, they've been designed to plug the loopholes. So what is Brave exactly? Well, Brave is a web browser that aims to treat each user as an individual instead of a product. It was created by Brendan Eich, who was one of the people behind Mozilla's browser. And I created Brave to go above and beyond its security and privacy, while still retaining its speed and ease of use. Now, the browser itself was launched in 2016, and it's important to know that it's still a work in progress uh, to, to, to some extent. I mean, everything is working properly and new features are being added with, with every update. For example, Users can now search the web privately with the Brave search engine. That said, it's definitely worth keeping in mind that users can expect greater functionality in the future. Okay, so, so Brave was founded on open source so software and it's completely free to use, which is great and is also committed to remaining free in the foreseeable future, which is even better. Plus, you can choose to make it ad-free if you'd prefer, which is just what you'd want to see in a secure browser. Another cool feature of the Brave browser package is their Brave Rewards program. Basically, it allows users to funnel micropayments to their favorite creators. So it offers a different way to help support online businesses that aren't paid advertising. And following up on the fact that Brave was founded on open source software, the team behind Brave definitely goes out of their way to establish transparency. I mean, they have a policy of inviting bug fixes and suggestions from open source codes. So they have a community of users who help keep the browser as clean and honest as possible. So now you know what Brave is, now let's talk about how to use it. Well. Brave's interface should be fairly familiar to Chrome and Firefox users. The browser is based on the Chromium infrastructure, and a few of the more elaborate features may be lacking, but that means that it's faster than a browser that has every single bell and whistle possible. And of course, the browser itself is available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. There are some differences between them, so it's worth having a look at each one to see how the functionality differs. First, let's talk about the Brave browser for Mac. So the Mac version of Brave is a solid alternative to Safari. It offers a clean interface and it's fast. That said, most users do report that Brave still doesn't quite match Safari in the speed department. And that's because as a Chromium browser, Brave will inevitably suffer in comparison to Mac's native browser. And some users will find the difference too much to make the switch. But I mean, if you want a Safari alternative with stronger ad blocking and anti-tracking features, it's worth a look. Okay, next up, let's look at the Brave browser for Android and iOS. Now, the smartphone versions of Brave are a little different from their desktop versions. Brave for Android and iOS are both basically the same and are absolutely worth checking out. But unfortunately, they they lack the option to engage in Brave uh, in, in the Brave rewards on the mobile versions. So apart from that one feature, it's a simple secure browser with zero plugins and zero unsolicited ads 
Also users report that it's two to four times faster than Chrome, which is, which is great. All right, last but not least, let's look at Brave Browser for Windows. So at the moment, the Windows version of Brave is the core product, and it, and it definitely shows. I mean, it, it has the, the largest set of available features, and while it is less, slightly less complex than Chrome, it's faster and more to the point. It blocks unwanted pop-up ads, plus plugins are, are strictly by invitation only, and there's zero data collection. So you get all these added features and Brave still provides a lot of the essentials that you would find on Chrome, like bookmarks, uh, autocomplete forms, and the find on page feature. Okay, so now you know that Brave is available on most operating systems and how it's different on each system, but across the board, is the Brave browser safe? And basically, in a word, yes. It is a, a lot safer than Chrome for a bunch of reasons. For example, users can block both cookies and scripts completely. Also, the browser doesn't collect personal data. And when you clear your browsing history, everything, and I mean everything, gets flushed. Plus, users can use a built-in password manager, which is a, a great feature. So yes, it is safe. And on that note, if you're looking to learn more or maybe improve upon your existing cybersecurity, maybe look into antivirus software or password managers. I do have a video on my top cybersecurity recommendations, so I'll link to that in the description and feel free to check it out if you're curious about other ways to improve your cybersecurity. Now, so far I've been really positive with Brave, so let's talk about some of the cons. First, there's Brave's advertising policy. It's not quite ad free. Sure, there are, are zero unsolicited ads and no pop-ups, but they do still have banner ads. And when pop-up ads are blocked, Brave's default setting is, is to replace them with ads approved by Brave itself. So that could sound a little weird, but I will say that Brave's revenue sharing model is really interesting. With ads, a portion goes to the advertiser, another chunk goes to Brave, and then, get this, 15% of the revenue goes to the user. So technically, users can make money by browsing on Brave. Now, some users will love that setup, others will hate it, because, you know, ads are ads, and, uh, People don't like it, but either way, these ads will come with no tracking cookies unless the user asks. So regardless, it's a pretty major upgrade from a lot of default browsers. All right, one more thing some users have raised issues about is something called whitelisting. Essentially, this involves approving certain websites to bypass Brave security features to allow the browser to function properly. This means that the company seems to permit some groups like Facebook to avoid the browser's security checks. And while we all know that Facebook would never, ever, ever harvest any of our data, uh, it seems like the whitelisting could be counterintuitive or, or concerning to some users. That said, no browser is perfect, so I always like to use a VPN extension to my browser as an additional layer of protection. This encrypts my data and helps to avoid IP leaks. Um, I use NordVPN. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a popular provider, it's affordable, it's super easy to use. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about NordVPN, we have an in-depth review linked below in the description. All right, so bottom line, what do I think? Um, well, overall, Brave is a, a secure browser with excellent performance and, and plenty of built-in features. It's still relatively new, but it's already one of the most secure options. While it might be too much for novice users, if you like customizing your browser experience, then you should feel right at home. And if you've been using Chrome or Firefox until now, I suggest giving Brave a try, since it looks and feels pretty much the same as Chrome and Firefox. Switching to it shouldn't be a problem. But let me know what you think. 
Have you tried out Brave? Did you like it or did you hate it? Do you have another favorite secure browser? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're interested in learning more about my favorite cybersecurity products, the ones I think are most essential to have, I'll link to that video as well in the description area. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, this includes all of the most essential online security products that the average person would benefit from the most for protecting their family's privacy and staying safe online. But otherwise, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please leave me a thumbs up as that always makes my day. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to our cyber family. I just want you to know, I really appreciate all of you for watching and I look forward to interacting with you in the comments below.